Hi everyone, how are you today? I'm Leanne Furman and we're at Furman Orchards. You know what this is? Can you tell what this is? This is a greenhouse. Yes, it doesn't look green at all, does it? But it's called a greenhouse because it helps us to grow green things when the world outside maybe isn't green, like in the winter when everything is dormant outside. This allows us to grow green things inside in Southern Ohio here at our farm in Wheelersburg, Ohio. You wanna see what's inside? Come on and follow me. We use our greenhouses to start all kinds of plants that we use here at the farm um, to grow our vegetables and our flowers. This is the door, we'll just prop it open. Look inside. We have all kinds of plants that are just ready to go out into the fields. We start them in here early because this allows the plants to get a jump start on them. Say for example, some tomatoes. This is what tomatoes look like, right? This is a variety of tomatoes that we might grow out in our field. We start our tomatoes from seed. You know what a tomato seed looks like? They're very small. I'll show you. The seeds, do you know where the seeds are inside a tomato? If you wanted to plant them from next year. These are tomato seeds that have green coloring on them so we can see them a little better. But you can tell they're really small. So if we were to plant them out in the garden without starting them as plants first, we would lose them in the soil because they're so tiny. So we use this, this is a row tray. And we can put our seeds in here with some soilless mix and start them in here in the greenhouse. This is another way of starting them. This is called a plug. See how little that is? This is actually sweet corn that's ready to be transplanted out in the field to get a jump start on the year. So back to the tomatoes. After the tomatoes are about this high, we'll transplant them into a flat that has these little circles individually. Now these are ready to go out in the field so they're larger now. But here's what another plant looks like when it's just been transplanted into a 50 cell flat. We call that a flat. This is what the tomato looks like. So it is now ready to go out into the field in the orchard to be grown throughout the summer and into fall and it will produce a lot of tomatoes for us to share with our customers and to purchase at our farmer's markets or here at the orchard. Some of the other plants that we grow that might be ready, not necessarily things that we would eat. We also grow a lot of flowers that we use for cut flower arrangements to sell at the farmer's market. We even do some for weddings. So we have all different kinds of flowers here that are all in these little cell packs ready to go out into the field with our transplanter. And when we go up into the orchard later, we'll show you our transplanter and the plastic that we put down in the field to show them. These are peppers here. Everybody likes a lot yummy pepper, especially in spicy salsa or Mexican food. So we grow a lot of different kinds of peppers too. So these are ready to go to the orchard. So let's go into another greenhouse and we'll show you the tomatoes a little bit further. So here is a beautiful warm day. It's about 60 degrees outside, but in the greenhouse today, it's about 85. So the greenhouse, even though it's not green, helps us with its covering and protection to make it feel like summer inside the greenhouse. Come on in. We call this one a high tunnel. The sides can go up and down when it gets hotter outside. But since it's not really that hot out today, we keep it closed and the sunlight, because plants, what do they need to grow? They need sun, right? They need water and then they need soil. This is the soil that we have in here or the earth when we go up into the orchard. So these are our tomatoes in here that we are growing in our high tunnel. These tomatoes looked like this about a month ago. They've been growing in here for about 30 days. These tomatoes were started about the end of February and then we transplanted them, which means we took them from this and put them inside the bags when they were smaller about 30 days ago. And now they're growing. 
This is a tomato. This is a, these are called high tunnel tomatoes. They have a string in here to help them to support them. And in the orchard, we, instead of, we also use strings, but we use stakes also with the tomatoes to help them stay up off of the ground. It's easier to pick them then if the stuff isn't laying flat on the ground and it also keeps the tomatoes healthier and it keeps them very, very tasty when it's time to eat them. So I want to show you here, this is a row of what we call cherry tomatoes, little baby midget tomatoes. And if you look closely here, the tomato is in this soilless mix, which this is actually the outside of coconuts. And then it grows and we put a string that we tie up towards the ceiling and I clip it on there. This is the leaf of the tomatoes. They're very, very large and they smell and they also make your hands green after you've worked with them for a while. And as they start to grow, we'll take off some of these. These are called suckers. And this is the little baby cherry tomato. Can you see the little tomato? Well, what is the tomato before it's a tomato? First, it's the seed then it's the plant, then the tomato is a flower. Do you see these little yellow flowers here? This is what a tomato flower looks like. It almost looks like a trumpet, kind of, or a rocket, Shh. it's flying through space. And inside there is everything we need for the plant to make a little tomato. Now tomatoes can have pollen and they can pollinate themselves when the wind blows it just right. And then after it's pollinated, it turns into a little baby tomato. And this tomato will grow and get to be about the size of a quarter. You guys know what a quarter is, right? And so when it's about this big, this variety will turn kind of a peachy orange red. And it's ready to eat and it's really yummy and tasty and it's great for you. Now, we'll come back in a second after we go into the other greenhouse and I'll show you some other vegetables that we're growing. Hello everyone, you're at Furman Orchards and we're in another greenhouse today and we're going to show you all about growing our hydroponic lettuces here in the greenhouse instead of outside in the soil. The word hydroponic just means growing with water or in a water system. These are our little baby lettuces right here. We grow them by putting a seed in each one of these little holes in here. And then they start to germinate because this is filled with water. It's like a sponge, but not really. And then once they're big enough to transplant, we'll pull them apart. Now pretend there's a plant in here and we'll stick them inside what we call channels, but they're kind of like a gutter. Here is a little baby plant right here. And we, these were transplanted into these little squares about a week ago. See all those things at the bottom? Do you know what those are? Those are the roots. This is lettuce. This is a leaf lettuce. Lettuce is really good for you. And not all lettuce, more than one kind of lettuce. A lot of people think that the only lettuce is the crunchy kind that you get in the store. That's called iceberg. Well, this is called leaf lettuce. And they'll just sit in here and they grow. And inside of here is water. And you can kind of see the water coming out a little bit here. But if you look, here comes the water. Can you see the water? Now the water goes down through this hole and it goes through and it waters all of the plants. And as it waters the plants, the roots are down in there like this one. And it goes down there and it goes down and it empties out down at the other end and it goes all the way around and comes and there's a pump and it pumps it all through again. So the water is always flowing on these, which is a little different than if we were growing them up in the field. Now here are the lettuces after they are large and ready to go. Here's a nice red lettuce. Here are some pretty green lettuces with very large leaves. Now red lettuces are actually a little better for you than green lettuce too because the red coloring is a lot of vitamins and minerals in that, in the coloring called anthocyanins that are really good for your body. It helps you to fight off diseases and keeps you nice and strong and healthy. So it's good to try all different kinds. Some of them are a little bigger leaf than others. 
some of them are darker and ruffly and this is the one that I just showed you a little bit ago this is called a leaf lettuce this is a red leaf lettuce and a green leaf lettuce and then we also grow a lot of other things so you can see some of these were big enough that we already harvested them out and this is what it looks like with the roots when they get bigger see how much bigger those roots are now so when we go to pick these we actually take a knife and we just cut it off right here and you get one whole big head of lettuce. And so we can use this system again and again. We have the younger ones, these are ready to plant now, and then we have the small ones that just came up that we'll plant in a few weeks. And we can even grow herbs like basil. Basil is good in a lot of Italian foods. Remember how we talked about spaghetti and salsa and things like that? Well, basil is great in spaghetti sauce. So keep eating your veggies especially your green and purple and red vegetables like these red lettuces and tomatoes like what we talked about earlier. Thanks for coming to Firm and Orchards to see how we grow our vegetables and our plants in the greenhouses. Have a great day!